Good morning and welcome to Science with Sandy, brought to you by Cessnock City Library. And once again, we're in beautiful Curry Curry Library to share an experiment with you. So today's experiment is called Storm in a Glass. So for this one, you are going to need a glass or a jar, a smaller container, a teaspoon, some water, some shaving cream, shaving foam. Um, so this might be an experiment you like, might like to do for Dad on Father's Day if he'll let you use just a tiny bit of his shaving foam. And also can get messy, so some paper to clean up is also a, an excellent idea. Okay, let's get started, shall we? So, the first thing you need to do is fill your glass oh, about half, two thirds full. Now, get your shaving cream, give it a bit of a shake, might need a bit of adult help for this bit, and just put a little bit in, not too much. Oh, we might need to shake that up a bit more. We need a little bit more than that. There we go, that's probably enough. Now, we're going to smooth the top of that with a spoon. Hmm, maybe a little bit more. What we're doing here is we're making clouds. Okay, I'm going to stand up so I can see properly. So we're making a decent, so that all needs to be nice and flat. And here's our clouds. So we don't want any gaps through to the water below. Okay. All right, so that's what it looks like. Can you see the top of the. So now, the water is the atmosphere. The shaving cream is the clouds. Now, clouds in the sky hold on to water. They can hold millions of gallons, but they can't keep storing more and more water forever. Eventually, they get too heavy. So, let's, let's get our water ready, shall we? Put in a little bit of into this container, then probably about 10 drops of food colouring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give it a good stir. Okay, now we're going to start filling our cloud with water. Now, let's do this very gently. Okay, there's one teaspoon of water. Okay, so the cloud can hold that. There's another teaspoon of water. Ah, cloud's not heavy enough yet, is it? Oh, there it goes. There's our storm. There we go. Shall we try another teaspoon? Make a bigger storm. Three teaspoons, four teaspoons, five teaspoons, there it goes, and six teaspoons, there we go, there's our storm swirling around. So, when the clouds get too heavy, the water falls out. It, it, it precipitates as rain or snow or sleet or hail. Okay, so that's science with Sandy for today. Should we put in one more? Why not? Let's see what happens. Yep, a little bit more. And your dad might really enjoy this experiment, but remember, it is a bit messy. So it might be one for outdoors 
and if you're using one of your glasses, make sure it gets very well washed up afterwards. Okay, so that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed Science with Sandy and we'll see you next time. Bye.